Hello, my name is Aviva, and today I wanted to bring you along while I did a little bit of online book shopping. The thing is, I'm not actually going to be like scouring the internet in today's video because I've kind of already done all of the research. Anytime I'm on Instagram or on TikTok, I'm always looking at book recommendations. And if I ever see something that I'm interested in, I'll just right away add it to my Amazon wish list so that the next time that I'm interested in purchasing a couple of books, I just have all the books that are like super high up on my radar right in front of me, and I can just go through my wish list and choose a couple. So that is kind of what I wanted to do with you today. I'm going to go through my Amazon wishlist with you. I don't have a lot of books on there. I think maybe like 30 or so. I haven't looked at it in a while though. So we're going to go through it together and then we're just going to choose a couple of books to get. So yeah, that is my plan for today's video. I do have my laptop right in front of me. So I'm going to screen record and share with you what I'm looking at. So basically this is what my Amazon wishlist looks like. I really don't have a lot of books on here. Like this is literally the entire thing, but I honestly like somewhat really want to read all of these. I just want to choose today, like maybe four or five books that I want to read above all the other ones. So basically let's just quickly go through all of them. So this one I actually just recently added to my wishlist because someone recommended it to me. I've never read a book by this author. I think it's like Emily Goodwin and the book is called Side Hustle and it is some sort of a single father um, nanny romance. I think this girl is like some sort of hustler and she was planning on like becoming a nanny for this like very wealthy family and then like blackmailing the husband into like, you know, giving her a bunch of money or something like that. And she ends up like getting set up with this like single father of sorts and she's going to fall in love with him instead. So and honestly sounds very intriguing and I honestly might get this one today but we will see we'll see what else I have on this list but either way Savage Lands is some sort of like fantasy series and I've heard amazing things and that is why it's on this list but I don't think I really want to get involved with like a long series today so gonna pass on this one for now but Broken Bonds is I don't even know exactly what this is I I had someone tell me what this book is about and I think that it's the first one in a very large series some sort of like reverse harem paranormal otherworldly story sort of like fantasy book. I don't really know the details, but either way, when someone told me what it's actually about, I'm like, that actually sounds really interesting. So I added it to my wish list, but I don't think it's something I want to get involved with like right now, especially because I don't think the series is even completed. So like why get involved right now? I just know that like I want to read it one day, but I don't think that day is today. So yeah, not going to get this one today. Next up, I also have a Steal My Magnolia by Carla Sorensen. So this is like the third book in, I don't know, her Love at First Sight series. And I recently read book one and I actually already own book two, but I added book three to my wish list after I read book one and like thoroughly enjoyed that one. So I honestly don't know which one this is, like what exactly this is about, but I'm going to pass on it because I already own the second book. So I feel like I should just read that one and then I'll get to this one. But I do want to read that one day. This is the second book in a series. So it's There With You by Samantha Young. I did recently read Here With Me and I really enjoyed that book. It was like a romantic suspense. And I do know a little bit about like the characters that are going to be in this story. And I am semi-intrigued, but like I don't really know if I'm going to get this one today. Why don't I add the ones that I'm like thinking about into my, um, you know, card so that I can see which ones I end up wanting to get later. So at the moment, these two I'm like considering. This one is a reverse harem. So um, I don't think I really want to read this right now. I know that it's the the first book in a series I think it's like this girl is gonna end up having a relationship with like the vice president and the president of the United States so it sounds really good it sounds really steamy but I've recently read like two reverse harems and I feel like I liked I could take a breather before getting into another one so gonna pass on this one for now this one is um, by Krista Becker Ritchie so it's called the failed audition and I never see anybody talk about this I saw one person mention it on TikTok, and they honestly said really good things so it made me want to add it to my wish list but I don't know if I actually want to get it right now because I feel like Krista and Becker Ritchie, they're so freaking famous because of the Addicted series. And I feel like that's all they're famous for. So I don't know if like their other books are like just as good, but just like not as popular or if like their other books are kind of a fail and like the Addicted series is like the only books you should read by them. I don't really know. But either way, I'm considering this book, but I honestly don't think I'm going to read it. Like I'm, I don't think I'm going to get it today. So I'm going to pass on it for now. But I am very intrigued by it because I think it's about this girl who's going to end up joining like a Vegas circus or something like that. I don't know. The, I just remember it being like a very intriguing um, you know, storyline, but I can't remember the details now, but either way, Reverse is the second book in the um, some sort of duet. I think it's called the Bittersweet Symphony duet or something like that. But either way, the first book was Drive and I actually recently read that and really, really enjoyed it. And I know that this is kind of like the second gen book where it's like the people from like the first um, book has children and then it's going to end up being like their romance of sorts. So honestly, I've heard really, really good things about it. I'm going to add it to my cart for now, but I don't think I'm going to actually end up with that one for now. But either way, um, this is called, I think it's called The Words by A. 
Jenny Jade. And honestly, I wasn't originally planning on reading this book because it's some sort of like rock star romance. And I don't really know anything else other than that. But I saw somebody say like, oh, I wasn't really into rock star romances either. And they really enjoyed reading this book. And like, you should definitely give it a shot. So I was really highly considering just like giving it a shot, even though I have like very mixed feelings towards it. But you know what? Maybe, maybe, maybe I will get it today. I'm going to think about it because I remember that person like really um getting it in my head that I wanted to read it. So we'll add it to my um, cart for now. This is the first book in, I think it's like the Bailey Brothers companion series or something like that. But either way, I think book one is called Protecting You. And I have been wanting to try out this author for a while, but I know that there are a couple of books in this series that like, I'm not extremely interested in reading, except a lot of people say that like, you really should read it as a full series, even though they're all technically standalones. So I've been a little bit hesitant to get involved with it, but I, it has been like nagging at me for a while that I want to give it a shot. So I'm going to add to my cart for now and we'll think about this at the end. This one is Haunting Adeline and I've seen a lot of good things about it. I've seen a lot of bad things about it. I don't exactly know the details of the story but I know that it's very dark and twisted. I think that it has something to do with like um, human trafficking or something like that and I am intrigued to read it but I don't know if today is the day that I'm in the mood for a dark romance so I'm gonna pass on that one for now. Anyway, Flawless by Elsie Silver is her first book in a new series and I think it's about like some sort of bull rider and I've seen a lot of really good things about it. So I'm going to think about it for now. We will see. We'll go back to it at the end. The Devil Something, I can't see, The Devil in the Blue, Something Blue Sea. It's by Elizabeth O'Rourke. It's the second book in one of her companion series. I did read the book that came before this and I really enjoyed it, but for some reason I'm not itching to read that. So I'm going to pass on it for now. Getting Real by Emma Chase. Okay, I can't remember exactly what this book was about, but I remember somebody recommending it to me and being like, oh my God, it was really, really good. So um, he never thought that starting over uh, at Dating Square won his career as a successful doctor and his three boys are everything to him and it's not exactly a setup of conducting scorching social life but he's giving it a shot and then this girl is a nurse oh my gosh a nurse and a doctor and a single dad I feel like that sounds really good you know what let me think about this one I feel like maybe blind side I really really do want to read but I already own a fair catch and I told myself that I'm going to read fair catch before I purchase blind side so I very much want to get this book but I'm going to wait until I um you know have read book one and then I'm going to reward myself by getting the second book in the companion series so I have have to pass on this one for now but I actually really really do want to read it. Idol by Kristen Callahan. I don't know too much about it. It is another one of those rock star romances and I don't remember why I added it to my wish list but I remember being intrigued by it enough to add it to this list but I think I'm going to pass on it for now because I already added this one to the wish list which was another rock star romance and I feel like if I'm going to read one I'd rather read that one. Um, second Semester by QB Tyler is just like a quick novella, like pretty steamy, and I think I'm gonna pass on it for now, even though I'm like semi-intrigued by reading it. This is Lessons from a One Night Stand, and I think that it like takes place in Alaska, first book in some sort of like small town romance companion series. Gonna pass on it for now, even though I do wanna read it one day. A False Start by Elsie Silver. This is the last book in her Gold Rush Rand's companion series, and I've already read the first three, so I feel like I should really like finish up with this series. What is this one about though? I kissed my best friend's little sister and the world stood still. That night, we were two perfect strangers, the town's grumpy recluse and the gorgeous girl in the back of a bar until we weren't because N Nadia isn't just some girl. She's the girl I can't have, 14 years younger than me and completely off limits. Age gap, best friend's little sister. This sounds a little bit interesting to me. You know what? I think I'm going to add this to my wish list because I feel like maybe if I was going to read an another Elsie Silver book, I should read, I should finish up this series before I move on to her next one. So we'll think about that one. Um, Letters to Molly is a second chance romance and I've been wanting to read it, but I'm a little hesitant because I'm not so into second chance romances, but I have read the first book in this series. I think it was called like the birthday list and I got to meet this couple and I'm honestly like super intrigued for their story. So I do plan to read this one day, but I don't think that that day is today. Um, Flirt by Adriana Locke. It's very randomly on here. It's like, I remember seeing good things. I kind of added it to this list when it like came out a little bit ago, but honestly, like I have no interest in reading it right now. So I'm just going to pass on it. To Love Jason Thorne and To Hate Adam Connor. People keep recommending me this book and that is why it's still on my wish list. But for some reason, I'm not super intrigued to like press a purchase on this. So I'm going to pass on these again, even though like over and over again, people just recommend this to me, one, this, this one to me like left and right, but I'm not going to get it today. Anyway, Hello Stranger by Jade West. I honestly cannot remember what this book is about. So let's look it up. 
When your eyes land on a complete stranger on the train and the world around you stops, when the stranger says hello and your heart stops too, when the universe answers your prayers and he's there the next day on the train, a man so powerful brooding with darkness and secrets. I knew there was going to be more, I wanted more, but when the stranger is reading one of your favorite novels and you're reading one of his, oh, you know what, this, you know what, I kind of remember what this is about. So, I mean, I actually don't know too much about it, but I remember somebody telling me that it is a bit of like a serious book. Like it's not like a very lighthearted book. And for some reason, I feel like maybe giving it a shot, especially because it's like pretty cheap. It's only $13. So I'm going to add this one for now. We'll see what ends up being in my cart after this. Anyway, to love, dear love, I hate you. I'm going to pass on that one for now. I'm semi intrigued in reading that story because I've heard good things, but I really have to be in the mood for like a very angsty teenage romance to pick that one up. And I'm definitely not in that mood right now. So going to pass. Marriage for one, it's literally only on this list because I've seen so many people say good things about it. I know that it's some sort of like arranged marriage. The thing is, is that for the equal amount of people that I've seen good things, like for the equal amount of like good reviews that I've seen from people, I've also seen like equal amount of bad reviews. So I'm very 50-50 about this book and therefore I'm going to pass on it for now, but it's still one that is high up on my radar and I'm considering reading. So yeah, I'm not going to take that off the list, but not going to read it today. Anyway, Bourbon Bliss is like a random small town romance. I don't even know what it's about, but I'm going to pass on it for now because I feel like I've already added a handful to my um, cart and I'm not like dying to read that one. And then these two books, Ride and Crash, they are, I think it's one story in like two different books. So it's like some sort of duet and all I know about it is that you're following some sort of like snowboarder and I'm honestly like really intrigued to read this because I love snowboarding and I've only ever read one book where like one of the main characters was into snowboarding it was faked by Carl Sorensen and I really really enjoyed it and I love to read more snowboarding romances because I'm a huge fan of the sport so I have been wanting to read this and the only thing that's making me not want to add it to my car right now is that it is a duet because I always hate when it's like you're reading a book and like something's being built up and then obviously it's going to have to go bad by the end of it so that book two can actually have a storyline for them to fix whatever it is that went wrong so I don't really know how I feel about that because like I wish that it was a standalone like just the idea of it being a duet is making me like kind of turned off by it but like I do want to read it so I don't think I'm going to read it right now but it is very high up in my TBR and I really got to stop passing up on this because the few people that have told me good things about this book I really do trust their recommendation on so I feel like I got to give it a shot but I don't know if I want to give it a shot today you know what maybe maybe I'll add a book one we will see but anyway the last book that I have on my Amazon wish list is the penalty box and this is some sort of hockey romance but honestly I do not know too much about it and I think I'm gonna pass for now because I feel like even though it might be really good I don't think it's like anything special because I can't even remember the details about the book so yeah that is it that's the end of my wish list so let's see what I added to my cart um, let's see, let's see, how many books do I have in here? $266 and 16 books. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to take some out of here for now. So let's see what I added. I, I don't think that I'm really in the mood for this like romantic suspense. I think I'm going to give it a little bit more time because I only did recently read the first book and I feel like I don't need to jump into the next book right now. Oh, there's a lot of other books that were in my wish list from a very long time ago. So I don't want to read those books anymore. I'm going to, um, you know, take those out. Let's see how many books I'm up to now. I'm up to nine books, $141. Honestly, I could go get all of these right now, but I'd rather only pick a couple. So I feel like between a false start and then flawless, even though I kind of want to read flawless a little bit more, I feel like finishing up this series first. So out of those two, I'm I'm going to have to take flawless off. Now we're up to eight books. Let's see. I don't know if I really want to read reverse this very instant. Like I feel like out of all these other books, I don't think like reverse is going to be the one that I want to like grab the second that it like arrives at my door. So I feel like I'm going to pass up on this. You know what? I'm going to leave it there for one more second. We'll see what else I have in here. Um, let's see. Let's see. Ride. I feel like I should just take out. Like, I feel like, um, I, I can do this like next time around. I'm not going to get that one right now. We're up to seven, seven books, seven books. We have Hello Stranger, A False Start, Getting Real, um, the Care Cleansy book, The Words, Reverse, and then Side Hustle. I feel like I kind of want to read all these books, but I shouldn't get all of them right now. So maybe um, I'm going to take out Reverse. I don't know. Maybe I'm going to take out... Maybe I'm going to take out um, the reverse. Maybe I'm going to take out reverse. And now how many books do I have left? I have six books left. You know what? I kind of like the vibe. We have a single parent with like some sort of hustler situation. We have a rock star romance. We have a 
um, Bailey Brothers book, first book in a series. So if I end up liking that, I have a lot more I could continue on with. This is a doctor and a nurse who also happens to be a single parent. We have a sister's best friend, best friend's little sister with an age gap. That one sounds good. And then we have Hello Stranger, which seems to be a little bit more of a serious book, but I don't know too much about it. But that seems pretty good to me. I think that these are going to be the six books that I'm going to get. So happens to be, I'm currently on my own Amazon account and I have to bring all these over to my sister's account because she's the one with an Amazon prime. And we all basically like, you know, have one account that we like order from because why pay for a thousand prime account? So either way, these are the six books that I think I'm going to be purchasing. So I'm going to do all of that off screen, but thank you so much for following along with me while I chose a bunch of books to get today. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you've read any of these books, please like, let me know what you thought about them down in the comment section below. Hopefully you're not going to say any bad things because I'm honestly really excited to get all of these. So either way, thank you again for following along with me. If you enjoyed watching this video, then please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you are not currently subscribed. And either way, that is about it. So until next time, enjoy reading.